I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. DeVille. Not funny? <laughs> <laughs> my channel is all about finding vintage clothing in the usual and sometimes unusual places. I rummage at thrift stores and secondhand shops, auctions, you name it, I probably go and hunt for vintage clothing there. I am predominantly looking for actual vintage, not vintage inspired. If that is interesting to you, you should stick around. There'll be more where this comes from. So, to start us off on our very first video together, just in case I didn't say it, hi, my name is Raven. I am the owner of Rockabilly Raven Vintage on Etsy. I unabashedly go and find vintage clothing and save it not only for me, but I save it for you too. Um, but I also love to educate people on what vintage clothing looks like, what it doesn't look like, and importantly, what the tags look like on actual vintage clothing. So I have a haul video, my favorite kind. So I went to the Goodwill here in our local hometown. I went on the color of the week day change. So all of the green tags at our Goodwill were half off. Usually you can't find that color at all when they're 50% off, but I found a couple, so I'll share them with you. So to start us off, I found a fantastic, albeit small for me, uh, cardigan. And excuse me while I button the buttons so that it looks a little bit more professional around here on this first video. Fantastic, right? Good TV, good YouTube TV. So now we're back on track. So here is the cardigan. Helps if I show you me too, that I found. This is a lamb's wool green, really pretty spring green uh, cardigan. It is a fabulous cardigan from the 1940s. Look at that tag. Get close so they can see it, Raven. Such a good tag. So pretty. Has really, really pretty plastic buttons from the 40s. And good cut. It's a V. Uh, with a, I'm sorry, a V neck with a high waist, nice, nice little waistband right here. Um, this little beauty was a yellow tag, uh, so it was not half off. But sweaters at our Goodwill are $3.95, so I paid $3.95 for a 100% lamb's wool 1940s green cardigan. Absolutely, all day long. Thank you very much. So that was piece number one. You can sit over here on my little vintage pillow. So, um, in the vein of sweaters or shirts or tops, I found an absolutely adorable, uh, probably more from the 70s, 1970s, uh, terry cloth, cotton terry cloth blouse. It's probably a piece that would have gone over a bathing suit or had a matching bathing suit bottom that went with it. But all I found was the was the blouse. But I really like the colors. And again, I'm fixing the buttons so that it looks a little more professional around here. Um, so here is the blouse. It is, again, it's from Montgomery Wards in the 1970s. Um, just so that people know, on this channel, I'm going to be all about showing you tags so that you know what vintage tags look like. So there's that from Montgomery Wards. Really hope that focused. Um, I adore this little pocket. So cute. And I like these bloused out sleeves. Really nice little button cuff. Um, it has lucite plastic buttons. They are called Moonglow Lucite, so they've got a really good shimmer to them. And they're a contrasting yellow, orange-yellow color. Really pretty. 
um, mandarin collar, which is this short little collar. I think you could style this everything from definitely hardcore 70s all the way up to in the 19, probably a 1940s style. Um, it is a, a cotton blend terry cloth, so it's probably got uh, cotton and a little bit of polyester in there. I don't mind polyester. Know that about me. I just like vintage everything. So um, that was that blouse. Again, it was a yellow tag from the Goodwill. So blouses, I think, are again three to four dollar range. Um, really nice piece. Probably going to be too small. Probably end up in the store um, if my daughter doesn't want it. So uh, something to know uh, about me as a really a vintage seller um, and a vintage buyer. I am 100% a vintage collector. Uh, I sew and save as much as I can um, and turn them into pillows and blankets and all the other things. Uh, because I'm also a vintage shopper uh, as well. So um, I am all about collecting, saving, and reselling if I need to. So after that PSA, uh, I found the best 1970s wing collar blouse. It's horrible and amazing. Look at this. Really fantastic. Solidly polyester. Um, wing tip is what this deep collar is called if you are newer to vintage. So this is a wing tip polyester blouse. It is really lightweight polyester. So it's, it borders on sheer. So it'd be great for the summer. Um, really good floral, abstract floral pattern. If you can see. Of course I have to look over so I can see my monitor. Um, Color's not reading well on the screen. It's a great peach and pink with a lot of bright orange. So, um, tags. Gotta see the tags. This one is a Gaylord. It's a, a brand from the 70s I've seen before. It says, Psst, it's a Gaylord. Let's see if you can see that. I hope you can see that. Awesome. So, I, let's see. Ta-da! Of course, the color was green, and all I found were yellow tags. So, this was also in the three to four dollar range. Interestingly, this has another little tag. This was a consignment store in our local town that went out of business. Um, they had this shirt listed for ten dollars. If I sell this, I will definitely not sell it for ten dollars. I will sell it for a little bit more because it's worth more. No damage, no holes, no pulls, no nothing. Um, but I live in a really small town where vintage is not well appreciated. So um, really quick, just because I, I noticed it, I want to show you great button cuffs with really pretty, uh, also moon glow lucite. If you don't know what that is, look it up. I mean, Google's the thing. Um, fantastic moon, moon glow buttons. I love notions. So. So, so far, we're up to $9, I think, $9, $9 to $12 range. Um, I had a 35% off coupon that I used at the end of all of this, so um, I'll let you know what my, my total haul price was. Let me make sure I don't have any more sweaters or tops before I pull out my big guns. Just what you want to see is me looking down, right? Awesome. Okay, you guys have to see this sweater. Okay, so really pretty 1960s cardigan. So easy to style it later than that. You could totally do 1940s with this. Um, great embroidery, beautiful little details, and really different buttons. So here is my pretty little white cardigan. I have a cardigan problem. You will know this if you watch this channel and I keep doing videos. So absolutely fantastic white embroidered cardigan. This is solidly white. I'm going to be working on lighting so forgive it. Um, 
great plastic buttons in a neat pattern. I've not seen this before. Um, on that note, it is a size small, which I don't care, I'll stretch it out. <laughs> it's all acrylic. I don't normally do a lot of acrylic, but I couldn't pass this up. Um, it's a Sears on the shelf brand, definitely from, I'm going to guess the late 60s, potentially early 70s. Um, if I have enough people that really start watching my videos who want some more information on how to age tags, or date tags, I should say. Um, that's something I could do in the future. Feel free to leave a message or a comment. Um, I just wanna really show again, look at this great embroidery. Really well done. No stains, no holes. Um, permanently cuffed sleeves. And this one, see I shouldn't have complained about the yellow tags. Green tag. Got it for two bucks. That's right, folks. Absolutely beautiful. Long line, long waist. I should have said that. Nice long waist. Um, I'm a very tall woman, so I like longer cardigans. Um, and uh, it's really soft. It's a good um, Orlon uh, acrylic with some really good fitted components towards the neck and collar. So really pretty piece. $2.00. It might be up to ten dollars so oh my gosh that's gonna be my thumbnail all right so what else have I got I will say I went on my big rant about no vintage inspired right I found a top it might be like 90s vintage but I I like to dress modestly and so I found a really pretty 100% cashmere, pink, kind of a mauve, large cashmere sweater, the turtleneck. Um, it's by Brooks Brothers. It's not vintage, not really. Um, but um, it's got the nice um, ribbed knitting at the bottom. And it did not have a tag, apparently, because I'm not finding one on the car puffs so that means it was probably full price so I mean a hundred percent cashmere gosh it's so soft cashmere sweater for $3.95 at the most absolutely beautiful again totally vintage usable as a vintage piece I will match it with either trousers or a skirt it's a large again I'm a very I'm not your average size woman um, I am six foot one and so there will be little pieces like this in and out that I will probably have in my hauls. Cashmere, cashmere, large cashmere sweater, right? Right. Okay, so now that we're done with tops, let's talk about a skirt. Oh, this is going to go in the shop for sale, just so everybody knows. Look at this waist. This is like the smallest waist in the history of the land, but it's a beautiful uh, cotton linen blend, big, full midi skirt, which means below the knee, with tons of embroidery all the way around it. There's even a little bit of transfer, so when I launder this, it'll come out hopefully. But someone embroidered this entire skirt all the way around, wait, and then all the way back around again. So the entire skirt, which is mm, half round, so it's really full. Um, all hook and eyes at the waist, nice rouging, which that's what this is right here, is when it's gathered in like that. Um, and I might be using the wrong terms, just the terms that I learned from my grandmother when she taught me how to sew. Little acrylic zipper in the back. Um, no tags, no marks, no maker, very obviously homemade. Again, um, either for a teenager or uh, a woman who has a small waist. And I couldn't, I couldn't leave it. Somebody will love this. This will be a piece that somebody wants for spring. And I am going to launder it and get those little pin markings out and then get it 
steamed and freshened up and put in the store for them. And I can't wait to hear how much they love it. So again, another yellow tag, which means it was $4. Uh, skirts are three ninety or yeah, three ninety five, I think. Might be four ninety five. Doesn't matter. No, it's homemade, awesome, vintage, very vintage. 1960s, I'm gonna say 1960s skirt. Um, or maybe back to the land movement, 1970s, but regardless. The color on the monitor that I can see is not showing. This is sunshine yellow. This is vibrant, beautiful, high waist, full, full over 50 inch hip with at least 25 plus inch length. It's a great little skirt. I'm really excited about it. So, all right, longest first haul video ever. All right, I have two more pieces, friends. All right, I'm gonna save this one last. Okay, so also in the vein of uh, small, I found this fantastic black and white 1970s uh, shirt waist dress or secretary's dress, however you wanna say it. It's done completely in the 1940s style. Really nice cuffs. Elastic waist, so it'll fit some bigger sizes. Look at this print. Can we talk about it? I love this print. Why is this a size small? I would absolutely wear this. I would rock this. What did it come with? Matching belt that you could use for other pieces. And the belt, oh, is in very good shape. So, this is a Lee. It says, it's a Lee. Vintage tag, nice contrasting collar. It's got lightly padded sleeves and a princess sleeve style, which is also very 1940s. Um, not super exciting buttons, just little white plastic buttons. Again, check it out. Elastic that still works. Very nice, super full skirt. It is a very light, light, lightweight sheer polyester. Again, I like polyester. I know some people hate it. I love it. That stuff washes like crazy. And it's nice in the summer. And if you like vintage, unfortunately, if you are unwilling to take a couple of polyester pieces, you're limited. That's all I'm going to say. You're limited. Again, came with its fantastic, this says size 12 vintage belt. With the elastic, it's probably a size, I'm going to say it's a modern size 8, 6 to an 8. Uh, modern sizing is very different than vintage sizing. My dear friends, brothers and sisters, it is very different. Um, in modern sizes, I am a size 10 to a size 12. In vintage, I am a 16. If I'm being dishonest, I'm really an 18 or a 20 in vintage. Not so good on the self-esteem. <laughs> So, oh, forgot to show you the tag, or the Goodwill tag. Look at it. It's green. Half off. $5 on dresses, $2.50. Um, I will be washing this. I will be cleaning it up. I'll be making sure that it is in perfect condition, and it will absolutely be going into the store. Because I have plenty of black and white dresses and I don't think this one will fit me. Okay. Piece de resistance. Nobody judge me on how I said that. I live in the middle of America and don't speak any foreign languages. So the best piece. Okay. I got a purse. The likelihood that this will stay in my collection is good. Oh my gosh. Look at it. Let me get it away from my face. Oh, I don't know if you can see how pretty the colors are. Let's get closer. Oh, it's dark. Oh, I hate that it's dark. Okay, so this is a handmade bag. It's just a, it goes over like this. Um, it is beautiful, uh, vibrant orange and yellow and brown embroidered. I mean, it's all hand embroidered, hand embroidered all the way around. 
it has some really great, look at this, chartreuse green is my favorite color in the world. I love it. Oh, so good. Um, it has a really nice, really sweet little handmade tag. The purse is from the 70s. Can you see? I have no idea if that's focusing. I may have shown you all of these tags and none of them focused. I'm going to work on that. I'm new. This is my first video ever. Please be forgiving. Um, so, great 1970s bag. I'm going to pull it back. Hopefully you can see the light on it better. Has It's good for books and knitting. I mean, look. it you got some space in there. So, uh, purses are $3.95. So I got this for $3.95. I love it. I love this really different little handle. You know, and, or you can just like, watch, punch it up and carry it. Um, not that you'd want to. It could even be up on your shoulder and tucked back. I mean, look at that. It matches my, matches my little afghan back there. So again, it was $3.95, I think I said. Um, it's got a little hard piece in here, so it keeps its shape. The lining is clean. That's important. Um, there's no holes. There are no ink stains. There's no other stains. It has a little zippered compartment in there to keep things you don't want floating around in the bottom of the bag. Uh, fabulous bag for resort or for going on vacation or just for summer to go to market and get like the farmer's market and get some vegetables. <sighs> $4. Yep, that's it. So that, my friends, is my first haul video. I always take a reusable bag. Total for all of the pieces was under $30. Uh, like I said, I had two pieces that were 50% off and I had a 35% off coupon. So my total for everything here, purse, I got a dress, beautiful little handmade skirt, a uh, fantastic white embroidered sweater. This is a recap. Lovely little 70s uh, polyester blouse. 1960s terry cloth blouse. Really pretty one. And then of course, love it. 1940s cash or not cashmere. Sorry, uh, lamb's wool cardigan. Um, Eighteen dollars. That was my total. It was eighteen dollars, including tax. Uh, so that is it, my friends. That is my first haul video. I am hoping to build this into a thing and I will be posting haul videos often because I like to go shopping and I find vintage clothing and bring it home and save it for me and for all of you. So I hope this video in some way blesses you. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I look forward to making more videos for all of you, and until next time, I will see you in the future. Bye.